Hello and welcome to my review of the Daypol A3 Papyrus. The first thing that strikes me about this model is the detail. For an N-gauge loco it is superb. A non-corridor tender unlike its counterpart Flying Scotsman. There is an obvious error in the livery application. The frame should not be lined green and orange. However, I don't personally find it too distracting. Roco has very fun connecting rods that look great when running at a low to middle speed. Graceful like a Grizzly Loco should be. The Loco is fitted with a 6 pin DCC socket and I currently have this Loco DCC fitted. However, due to a current issue with my DCC setup, I won't be running her today. The pan across the Loco shows how well defined some of the lining is. Along with the perfectly legible nameplate, Daypool even went so far as to replicate the correct difference in the running number fonts. You can see the carbon shaft inside the cab, however this does not detract from the look of the loco. The DCC socket is located in the tender. The locomotive has traction tyres on the rear set of driving wheels and will easily haul most wagons and coaches. Standard Rapido couplings are the order of the day. Daypon have also supplied the alternative magnetic couplers in the box. This shot illustrates the fonts used in the running number. And this shot shows her paired up with a Daypole Teak carriage. Thank you for watching.